Fly me to the moon. Chucky, back on the fucking my dude, yo. Alright, but today, bro, this is, become, this is gonna be another thing I do weekly because it's gonna be a great way for y'all to make empty and for me to make empty. And we're gonna do this together every goddamn motherfucking week. If y'all wanna see what I'm gonna talk about, it is this. Look at this. Look what I sold Jamal Carver for. Forty nine point seven k. I probably could have gotten more, bro. I, I might have hold myself, but we gonna figure it out. Y'all probably like Yugi. Um, that motherfucker goes for like less than fifteen k. How the hell did you pull that off? Well, I mean, it's probably something you heard of, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. It's probably something you heard of. It's the badging method. It's not even just badging, honestly. It's like, bro. Every Friday, there's hyped up players drop and, and, uh, Jamal Carver, I'm not even gonna lie Jamal Carver probably wasn't the best to do this like it would have been better a couple weeks ago to do Isaac but it's like it, it works with any um any new uh, most of these new players especially ones in the I like doing it with Galaxy's Opus because they're somewhat valuable they're not like as invaluable as diamonds but they're also not as expensive as Dark Matter so you have to put uh, bids on and the reason I don't like badging on putting bids on uh at, relying on bidding as players is because a lot of times you'll see people be like oh I'm gonna badge out this player and um but why did? But I didn't end up getting as much MT as I like. And so if you do buy now, players, bro, you get to kind of like control. Like I, I put him up for like 70k at first, which was kind of crazy, and he didn't sell. But then, um, yeah, I put him up for like what 50k, and then he did sell. So I, I, I could arguably got a 60. So it's like it's a little bit of trial and error. And something that's something you want to do as soon as Friday comes out. Like Jamal came out, right? He's very valuable to people. And unlike other older cards, bro, when you go to the market, right? Look at all these cards. You rarely, barely, very rarely see like a shoe. You barely see any extra Hall of Famers. You see, you don't see any extra badges. You don't see any extra badges and up to like I'm doing this up to 20k, right? And there's not gonna be a single one that's that valid. There might be one that pops up randomly, and even that someone's probably gonna buy at some point. And so it's like <coughs> these players. <coughs> If you make a better Jamal Crawford than the ones you see in the market, bro, right now, and you have to do this either Friday or Saturday with the new players, usually Friday or Saturday, while they still, while people are still like, oh, I need to go get this juice player, um, you're gonna make a lot of MT, and so I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, bro. So you see this, bro? I got Jamal. This is a different Jamal. Um, this is the one I'm actually like trying out. I kind of like him. He's alright, but I'm gonna sell him probably soon. But you see, he has 37 goals, 22 um amethyst, and um. He had no shoe or anything, right? The first thing you want to do is just, like, add a shoe to him, bro. Right? You want to add a shoe to him? And, um, obviously, I don't know if I need to show you how to do this, but... To make a shoe for Jamal Cropper, you gotta go to uh, shoe colorways first. And just get a diamond or whatever. And just, yeah, you can pick whatever you want, right? That's gonna, obviously, this is the type of shoe. I'm gonna show you every week which shoe to use for what player. It doesn't matter, but, um... Yeah, you want to customize the shoe, and for Jamal, right? Like, you look at Jamal's stats, right? First of all, at this stage of the game, everyone has good stats and all that. It doesn't matter. But his, um, th some of these could be lagging a little bit is defensively. So it's like, what you want to do is you want to mix and match, like, right? There's some, some of these are more valuable than others, but you want to find a couple defensive ones, right? Like, maybe a couple good defensive ones, like steel, uh, maybe block. Yeah, you definitely want to add block. I, I added block in interior. And it's like, you can also mix in a couple shitty ones that you just want to get rid of, because, yo, I'm telling you, y'all probably have a shit ton of, um, boost, right? And so I might, I literally might put stand and dunk in there just to throw in and just just to get rid of. Just so I have a uh, shoe to get rid of. And so, automatically when you put a shoe on him, bro, when people scroll through Jamal Crawford, right, they're already going to be like, oh, I, I want this Jamal Crawford with a shoe. So they might be willing to spend a little bit more money already. And so, yeah, you can probably put a couple that actually helps it, but you also put a couple shitty ones, because who gives a fuck? So I put a couple, like, interior block, and then I also put in, like, a defensive consistency, like, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Just to throw away a couple. And so it's like, you're not losing MT, you're, uh, you're just investing and putting, making more MT at the end of the day. And like right after I do that, bro, the first thing I do, I did, and what I'm gonna do for every player, is really just add one Hall of Fame. I'm not even gonna lie, like the thing is we never know what the price of a Hall of Fame badge is, right? And so my kind of thinking is like if I'm gonna put a Hall of Fame badge on you, I wanna get at least at the very minimum a 10k profit. At the very minimum, you could argue it should be like I'll probably could, you could probably say 20, and right? And which one I put like for this, bro, honestly, I probably like you, you click on a lot of um, a lot of these. It's not game. You're not gonna have a hall of fame for it. So it's like I kind of just scroll around and wait till I get one. Or you, you if you want to purposely put like one that makes sense on him, like maybe he needs a couple defensive badges. I put a hall of fame defensive badge on him. Or a lot of his shooting badges are gold, so I'm gonna put like a hall of fame shooting badge for him. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. It kind of does, right? At the end of the day, but I think once people see like an extra hall of famer, they might just automatically buy him. So it's like you can put any one you want, bro. It's not even gonna matter, but. You might want to base it off one that's going to help him. But any Hall of Fame is good for him. So it's like you add it and then you're done with that, right? 
Once you add it, you have 36 gold badges to the 23 Hall of Fame. And after that, what you want to think about doing, I probably do, is to get his badges up to 40, bro. I'm telling you, bro, when an uh, average person just goes into the market, looks for Jamon Crawford, right? And you see that 40 instead of the 37, that's going to look very good for you. So you're going to be at 36 gold badges. And basically, you kind of want to add just, um, just like, yeah, like add like four badges. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which ones. What I would do is what I did was, and what you want to do is I would probably put like a couple valuable ones. Like he doesn't, he's missing a lot of defensive badges. So I would go ahead and maybe find like the cheap, um, defensive badges that you can use on him. Um, I would, I would always look up the price because you don't want to give him like a, I think like, what is it? Brick wall is pretty expensive. So I wouldn't necessarily want to waste that on him, but maybe put like a decent defensive badge. Just find one. Um, look some up. If you, I think box would be pretty cheap. But you can just go box, get all the way up to gold, see which ones you have, then use that up, and then add a couple. Don't be afraid to add a couple terrible ones like back down Punisher. No one cares about you. Probably have extra shit around it. Put that down. Put the silver of the um, back down Punisher. It doesn't matter. get all of it. So yeah, add like a couple decent ones, right? And then put in two shitty ones too, bro. Feel free to do that. And then you're not wasting that much MT on uh, badges. You probably have a shit ton of extra dudes. So you just get rid of some of your extra badges. Instead of having to sell them for no money, you're adding them to Jamal to make them look like a motherfucking bead. And so when you're done with that, bro, he's going to have 40 badges. He's going to have 23 Hall of Fame badges. And he's going to have a shoot. Um, do not waste a diamond contract, I would say. Like, yeah, people are looking for diamond contracts, but you're also, a diamond contract is straight up just, like, 15k prop. So, like, it's like, you might have to want to sell your diamond contract, so you don't need to do all that. But yeah, once you put them up for 40 and 23, you're gonna, you can 100% sell them for the, his cheapest price by at least, it's gonna be trial and error, right? Like, I got them for, um, I did all that, right? And I want at least 10k of profit, minimum, right? And so... He's going for 15k. I made 30k profit, right? I could have arguably done 40, but yeah, it's like a trial and error thing. And Jamal Crawford, he's not that valuable, so it's like it's one of the things. Once another like Galaxy will like Bull Bull, Jonathan Isaac, that, that type of player pops up, and you do the same thing, that's easy profit. Yeah, you know, I could probably could have done this with Jonathan Isaac. Got a 100k when he first came out. If I did the same thing, he probably got 100k. So it's like you want to do it with more valuable players, but it still works with Jamal and all those other players. You can try Sean Marion if you need to and all that, but. Yeah, bro, that's the player I did for this week, and stay tuned, um, and y'all can, if, today's Saturday, bro, if you want to try it out today, go ahead, it, no, there's no foul in trying, so you might as well go try it out, it should work, and if it doesn't, I mean, this is kind of like a learning experience, I'm showing y'all how to put on game, and now, it's like next week, now you try, whoever comes out next week, or even take off three, uh, take off five, I think, at this point. This Tuesday, I'll do another one of these, and I'll show you what I got, and then you kind of like, you can watch me the way I do it, and then use your own knowledge, and then next time, next Friday, bro, you do the same thing that I did, and I'm going to show you what I do next week. It's going to be a weekly thing. But you got it, bro. Um, I'm putting you on a game, bro. There's another MT method. Um, I'll be showing you how to snipe. I'm showing you this. What's the other one that I usually do now? Oh, investing, bro. Yeah, I'm going to show you all. Um, I didn't make any investments this week. Well, I kind of did D-Lo, but... I'm gonna try to show y'all another investment next week, bro. Uh, we're gonna get too into it, bro. But yeah, bro, that's it for this MT making method. I'm gonna have more of these, you know. And then, yeah. And so, tomorrow I have locker codes. Tuesday, I'll do, um, Tuesday, I'm gonna do another sniping video. Sniping every take off guard. But yeah. That's it for that. That's all she over this one, bro. Um, thank you, and, um,. Uh,